Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my most highly requested videos next to my handbag request and this is my shoe collection. So my shoe collection is nothing super extravagant. I don't have like a huge selection of really, really high-end designer shoes. I have a pretty good mix. I have some really high-end designer. I have a lot of sort of mid-range shoes, and then I have a lot that are actually very, very affordable. I also have shoes for every occasion. I do live in Canada, so I do have to have shoes for four seasons. And I've also really started to get into designer items. I started really getting into designer items probably about 2015, 2016 is when I first developed a taste for them and my collection of both designer shoes and handbags has grown over that time. One thing that I think does make my shoe collection quite unique is that all of my shoes are neutrals, which might sound a little bit boring and that doesn't mean one day I won't get a shoe that isn't a neutral, but what I like about having all neutral shoes is that they go with pretty much every outfit. I'm never stuck in a position where I have a dress or an outfit and I don't have a pair of shoes that goes with them. So whether it's a sand a mid heel, a low heel, a wedge, a high heel, a pointy toe sneaker, whatever. They're all neutrals, so I am never caught without a shoe to wear for an outfit. It really does give you so many more options and so much more variety in your wardrobe, and it allows you to put together so many more different outfits and get a lot more use out of your shoes, especially the super high end expensive ones, I want to use them as often as possible. So that's one thing that you'll notice about my shoe collection. They are all neutrals and I don't think that makes them boring. I think it makes it kind of nice. I really like neutrals. I like looking at my closet and seeing that everything goes together. My shoe collection is something I'm definitely very proud of and very happy with and I would say I'm not done yet. I'm not done getting designer shoes. I I really love growing and expanding and curating my collection. I do have a couple pairs of shoes in here that you'll see as we go through that I'm like, mm, I don't know how much I love them, but I'll explain my thoughts on them as we go. And I think we'll start out with my flats and sandals and work our way up to the most sort of luxurious shoes. So if you wanna see my most high-end shoes in my collection, definitely make sure and watch until the end of the video. Without too much more rambling, let's get started. Everything will be linked down below. I will have my shoe size, like what I normally wear, as well as the sizes that I ordered in some of these shoes, just so that you guys can have a comparison. I will let you know whether they fit true to size, which ones are comfortable, which ones I think are 100% worth it. And if this is your first time on my channel, I would love if you would subscribe for more content like this. And without too much more further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start out with the pair of sandals I've had the longest in my collection. These are a pair of gold T-strap sandals from Michael Kors. As you can see, they are really, really worn in. I have worn these a ton. I've brought them with me on vacation. I bought these, I think, back in 2014 or 15, so I've had them for a really, really long time. And I think that they're cute, but they're no longer really my favorite pair of sandals. I do have other sandals I like better. I do like the overall shape and structure of the shoe. I really like a T-strap. I think T straps are really nice for elongating your leg and your foot. They're very minimal looking. They're not clunky or chunky or anything like that. So I do really like them. I don't wear them as much anymore though because I do have other shoes that I prefer. But as you can see, they are quite minimal looking and they tend to go with most items in my wardrobe. So they're not a bad sandal. I'm not ready to part ways with them yet. So next we have a pair of these Chloe slide sandals and these ones were a bit of a splurge. I bought them directly from the Chloe boutique at the Wynn when I was on vacation last year and these are just really adorable. I've always loved sort of the minimal, simple, chic look of them even though there's like a huge logo and I'm not usually about huge logos. I still love the font, I love the color, I love everything about these sandals you guys. I think they're so cute. I will say that they're not that comfortable. They look like they would be really good for all day wear or going for longer walks and stuff like that but they're actually not the bottom of the shoe is very stiff and also the canvas is quite stiff so they're a little bit misleading these are definitely the type of sandal I would throw on just for a couple of hours tops if I had to run around and do a couple of errands but they're definitely not a shoe that I would wear all day
Next we have an amazing pair of sandals and I 10 out of 10 recommend these you guys. They're affordable and they are really good value for money. I will link everything here down below but I really recommend these ones. So these are from Sam Edelman. I can't remember the name of them but I love them so much that I also want to get them in a couple of different colors and also a backup color of these ones. So these are extremely comfortable and they also look a little bit like Hermes. They kind of have that whole Hermes vibe. They are made of real leather. They are extremely comfortable and extremely good value for money they hold up so well these ones are in a sort of light beige patent leather and these were my vacation sandal last summer and I just wore these to death you guys and you can see there's a little bit of scuffing on the patent leather that's the only downside but you can get that off if you clean it properly and I just love them I cannot recommend these enough and you'll see Sam Edelman will be a recurring theme throughout this video because I have a lot of his shoes and I really really recommend them Okay, so these ones are a newer acquisition to my collection. I actually found these at Marshalls and I liked them so much that I got them in two different colors. So I have them in this beautiful brown color and I also have them in white. These are from Chinese Laundry and they are a basic leather slide sandal. Again, these ones really, really resemble that whole Hermes sandal thing, which I really like. I just, not that I'm trying to dupe it or get a dupe of that sandal, I've actually owned the actual Hermes sandals, which I do not recommend. From my personal point of view, I found them to be quite uncomfortable. These ones are so comfortable, you guys. These are literally the kind of sandals you could throw on and you could just wear all day long, any day, going shopping, going to the park with your kids, whatever you wanna do, they will not hurt your feet, they're amazing. They're super minimal looking as well and I really wanted them in a brown color for a more sort of natural casual look and I also wanted them in white just in case I was wearing like a light summer dress and I wanted sort of that white handbag white shoe combination but yeah I cannot say enough good things about these they were so affordable I'm sure you can still get them online if you look so these again are from Chinese Laundry very affordable. The next pair is a pair of ballet flats. I'm a huge ballet flat lover. I think that ballet flats are really chic, really elegant, but they're also obviously extremely comfortable. These are kind of my go-to throw on when I just need to run out quickly and do something and I don't know what to wear. So I wear these a lot and they're in this sort of beige, tan, pinky color with the really cute emblem on the front. You can see the backs are super scuffed because I wear them a lot and unfortunately I always end up scuffing the heels of my shoes. These are also from Sam Edelman they're from the circus line so they're like I think the more affordable line but they're still made of real leather they're extremely comfortable and again I cannot recommend Sam Edelman shoes enough Next we have another pair of ballet flats from Sam Edelman. These are made of real leather as well. These ones were a little bit more expensive, but I think they were worth it because they are that perfect ballet flat. They have everything that I love in a ballet flat, including the cute little bow. The color is absolutely perfect. They're extremely comfortable. They're very well made. And the last time I had this shoe, I think it was like a different variation or a different season, but the last time I had this shoe, it literally lasted me for like four or five years, you guys. They just last so long and they're so comfortable and you can wear them for everything from the office to just running out to get groceries to even like going out for lunch. They're just so versatile and they literally go with everything everything so definitely recommend them I believe these ones are still available and I will link them for you down below Now this is a pair of wedge sandals that I haven't actually worn since I got them. They're really chunky obviously and I don't usually love a chunky shoe and I'm not huge on wedges either. These are actually from Aldo. 
and they're sort of like an espadrille style with a little bit of leather or faux leather and I actually really like them because they add about four and a half or five inches of height which is really good for me because I'm quite short I'm only 5'2 so underneath a long maxi dress they're actually super super flattering I don't know why I don't wear these more often I can't bring myself to get rid of them because if I ever do have that long maxi dress that I need a shoe like this that's super comfortable and also kind of gives me some height so my dress isn't dragging on the ground these would come in handy obviously um, and yeah they are just incredibly comfortable so I haven't worn them but I also don't want to get rid of them so let me know what you guys think of these shoes do you like them or are you not really a fan Okay, this next pair is a low block heel sandal from Steve Madden, and these are, I believe, the Irene sandal. They still have them. I think they bring these out year after year. They're in lots of different colors. You can get them in suede. You can get them in leather. You can get them, I think, in other styles as well. I think there's like the clear see-through plastic strap. And I really like these ones because they are minimal and effortless and also very comfortable, and they give you a little bit of height but without being too much. So they're like a great casual everyday sandal. The only thing I would say is that they do sometimes dig in a little bit around the top of my toe area. I'm not sure if that will change over time. I haven't had a chance to really break these in yet, um, but hopefully when I do, they don't dig in as much around the top of my toe because it can be a little bit uncomfortable after I've worn them for a while. All right, this next pair is a very similar pair except the heel is a little bit lower and these are in sort of a snake print. And even though there's pink and blue in the snake print, I still think that these come across as a very neutral shoe. They're super cute and extremely comfortable. These are actually more comfortable than the Steve Madden ones. And these are from a brand called, I think, Kelly and Katie. So it's kind of like Kendall and Kylie, but it's Kelly and Katie, <laughs> I believe. And these are super, super comfortable, you guys. I haven't really worn them that much since I got them. And at one point I thought that I might declutter them, but I just love them so much and I do fully intend to wear them. And I'm sure I can find um, some sort of a neutral dress to wear them with. See, that's the trouble when you start adding color into your shoe wardrobe, is then you have to match them with appropriate dresses. But yeah, I just really like these ones. All right, and these are my new favorite sandal, you guys. I recently got them from Nordstrom. I'd been looking for a braided leather sandal for quite a while, and when I saw these ones, I thought they'd be perfect because they're in this bone ivory color. And they do have a thick, chunky block heel, but it's not excessively chunky. This is so comfortable, you guys. These shoes are so comfortable. I don't know if it's because of the soft braided straps or what it is, but you could wear these all day. I also really love that they have the squared off toe. I've really been getting more into the square toe heels lately. I just think that they look very elegant and they're also very on trend right now. And this is from a brand called, I think, Dolce Vita. I don't want to say it improperly. It could be like Dolce Vita, but I think it's Dolce Vita. And yeah, like I said, still available. I will link these down below. You can get them from Nordstrom and you can also get them from Amazon.
I just love these shoes you guys I love how they elongate the leg and they also make your ankles look tiny and also the color of these shoes is really flattering on my skin tone so even though there's that block heel like I said they still come across fairly minimal and fairly simple and I just I can't tell you how much I love these I cannot wait to wear them this summer The next pair is a pair of cap toe slingbacks which are obviously very inspired by Chanel and these are almost a flat shoe but they do have just a teeny tiny bit of a heel that you can see in the back there and I really love these. I got these from the Hudson's Bay in Canada. They are from a brand called Dune London. Dune London has a lot of great really higher end inspired really good quality shoes so these are real leather they will hold up very well they're excellent quality but they cost about 140 dollars canadian versus the multiple hundreds you would be paying for a pair of chanel so i still want a pair of chanel slingbacks that is on my bucket list but these definitely take care of that craving for now and they're extremely comfortable because they are a bit of a flatter shoe you can wear them for so many different occasions you could wear them to the office you could wear them just for casual going out and doing things and i absolutely love them and i 10 out of 10 recommend I love the two-tone look of this shoe and I also think that the cap toe is extremely timeless and elegant and of course it definitely screams Chanel and I just think these shoes are amazing. All right, so now we're getting more into my higher heeled sandals and shoes. So these are again a pair from Sam Edelman and these are a three inch strappy sandal in a nude color and these are a patent leather. And like I said, love Sam Edelman. I believe these ones are called the Patty um, sandal and you can still find them online. I think these are a sandal that they bring out year after year. They come in multiple different colors and you can also get just regular leather or you can get the patent leather. So I actually love these shoes so much that I have them in two colors. So they do have that nice three inch heel on them which makes it very comfortable. They add a lot of height and they're very chic and very elegant but without killing your feet. So these are a great daytime heeled sandal. If I want a heel for the daytime going out for lunch or something like that, these are are the perfect shoe although I have to say I am getting more into the squared off toe versus the round or almond toe but I still really like them these ones I did put a little cushion for the ball of my foot because I wear them so much I wanted to add a little bit more comfort but overall these are quite a comfortable sandal And you may see a little bit of wear on these sandals because I've actually worn them so much. These are probably my most worn high-heeled sandal that I have in my wardrobe. And they're not even that high, obviously. They're just a three inch. But like I said, they're that perfect daytime height um, without being inappropriate. All right, so like I said, I liked these pair of shoes so much that I actually got them in two different colors, and these are the black ones, and these are not in the patent leather. They're just in the regular leather. So I think these are a really classic and elegant shoe. I think that every woman needs a couple of different pairs of shoes, both in nude and also in black. Black just takes you toward that more classic direction, really good for nighttime. Also, if you want to match your handbag to your shoe, and maybe you have a black handbag and you want it to go with your shoe. So these are a great alternative. And I've only worn these once. I think I wore these once for dinner with my boyfriend a couple of summers ago, but they were great. And I think they're still such a staple. So definitely 
less worn than my beige or nude ones but still I think a staple and you can see when they're on my feet just how classic and elegant that black is it just is timeless totally timeless and I feel like these shoes will never go out of style I feel like they've always been in style and they'll never go out of style so black is a great option and I think every woman needs a pair of black strappy heels in her wardrobe So next we have a strappy heeled sandal, but these ones are definitely more geared toward evening and nighttime. These are a much higher heel. Again, these are from Sam Edelman. They really resemble the Stuart Weitzman heels, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I'm a huge fan of Stuart Weitzman, and actually I was wearing these one day, um, which was a really bad idea to go shopping. They are very painful, by the way, if you're going to wear them for a long period of time. And the sales associate at the store I was at asked me if I was wearing Stuart Weitzman. So they really do look a lot like the very very popular and super expensive and super luxurious Stuart Weitzman. I still do want a pair of Stuart Weitzman, but these ones definitely suffice. And these are kind of my go-to shoe if I want an open toe heeled sandal for the evening. They're definitely too tall to be worn during the day, but for nighttime, they're perfect. And yes, these are definitely one of my less comfortable pairs of shoes, but nonetheless, I have gotten a ton of wear out of them. They have definitely walked on a lot of pavement and much to the detriment of my poor toes which were burning and stinging and red and probably blistered by the time the night was over but all in good fun you guys so these ones I think they still do have on the website I will try to link them for you love them I cannot recommend them enough So moving on to a pair of white heeled sandals. Now these ones are from Steve Madden. These are fairly new. They do have that beautiful squared off toe that I love so much. I was looking specifically for exactly this type of shoe. I wanted a heeled sandal. I wanted something strappy and something sexy to wear for the evening. I wanted it in white and I wanted a square toe. And these were absolutely perfect. When I saw them, I don't even think I blinked. I just put them in my cart and bought them. The price was right. I think they were 90 Canadian dollars, which is like 75 American so super good deal you guys very minimal looking very elegant very effortless and chic and I like these ones for evenings out and they pair perfectly with a white handbag if you have a little white handbag like a Jacquemus bag or something that you want to bring out with you um, that's kind of what I envisioned wearing these with and I just wanted to complete the look with a beautiful white heel and these are surprisingly really comfortable you guys these are probably one of the more comfortable pairs of high heels I actually own really really recommend them I feel like I could walk for a lot longer in these than just to go out to dinner and they wouldn't hurt my feet and just look how beautiful they are I mean they're stunning so can't recommend them enough I will have these linked down below as well So next we have a pair of very basic, comfortable, pointy toe, sort of mid-heel shoes, again from Sam Edelman. They're sort of a Dorsey style pump. These are leather. They have a two and a half inch heel, or maybe they're even only a two inch heel, and they're a pointy toe. So these I think would be great for an office job. I don't currently have an office job, and these shoes are probably the least worn in my collection. I don't know how much I really love them. I've only worn them once or twice. I really like them, and they're extremely practical. They do scream a little bit more mature, they're definitely not what I would consider a sexy shoe. They're just like an everyday kind of staple. I feel like every woman needs a bit of a low to mid pointy toe for when the occasion calls for it. They're a very parent-teacher interview. They're very job interview. They're very office. Um, but yeah, because I don't do those things a whole lot, I guess I just don't wear them that much. So let me know what you guys think of these shoes. I'm always tempted to declutter them because I just don't love them that much. But at the same time, I feel like they're a necessity. So 
this next pair of shoes is again sort of a necessity and this is a three and a half inch pointy toe black pump just a basic black pump now these are from call it spring I don't even think they're real leather so they do come in handy I think I wore them to a funeral and I also wore them to a job interview so definitely again one of my least worn pairs of shoes but when you need a basic pointy toe black pump that isn't too high these fit the bill. They also have the Dorsey style, so the inside part of the heel is cut out, which I think is very flattering and a little bit more youthful, and they look a little bit less like stingy and stiff. Um, so these, again, I feel like I don't wear them very often, but when I need a pair of shoes, that is just like them, they do come in handy. I do want to get a higher pair of pointy toe black pumps, probably Louboutins. Um, but yeah, when I need like that basic black pump, these definitely fit the bill. Okay, and now we have what is probably my most worn ever pair of heels, and these are from Aldo. I got these about six or seven years ago, and these are a pointy three inch suede pump. So these ones were my go-to shoe for everything about six or seven years ago. I would wear them out on dates, I would wear them for day trips to the city, I would wear them for any occasion that I needed. A comfortable pump so they're not really a super sexy shoe I think when I first got them I thought they were super sexy um, I'm not sure if they look dated I feel like this style will probably always be in style um, you can tell there's a lot of wear on them because I've literally worn these so many times and they've held up pretty well overall these are incredibly comfortable to you guys just super super comfortable and yeah I don't wear them as much anymore but they were once upon a time my favorite shoe So now we have a little bit more of a modern and trendy pair of shoes. These are from Chinese Laundry. Again, I found these at Marshalls, and these are that sort of see-through plastic high heel, I guess is what you would call them. So these ones I really like. They're actually very, very comfortable. They are a nude color. They have a slightly thicker heel, but still about a three and a half inch heel on them, maybe even a four inch heel. Super sexy. I do like that you can see your toes through them and your feet through them. Just the way the shoe is made and the style of the shoe really elongates the leg and is extremely flattering. And because you can see your toes and you definitely have some toe cleavage going on, I think they're also very sexy. They do also have these little cut out holes so that they breathe and surprisingly you guys they're so much more comfortable than they look I don't know how long the plastic will hold up for oh I didn't get these from Marshalls I got these from DSW um, but yeah I really recommend them they're super comfortable and they're like an easy go-to for me for dinners and date nights if I don't know what to wear I really like them I'm really impressed with them so far Okay, so let's get this pair out of the way. These are my current work shoes. So for those of you who don't know, I am a nurse, and these are the shoes that I wear to work on a regular basis. And yeah, they do scream a little bit grandma. <laughs> they're definitely not um, like the nicest looking sneaker, or they're, they're really not like my quote unquote style of sneaker. But you guys, these are so comfortable. They literally feel like you're walking on clouds or marshmallows. These are the Skechers Go Walks. I have tried numerous different pairs of shoes for nursing and these are the ones I just keep going back to because they're minimal they're comfortable they don't have laces they're easy to slip on and off my feet do not get tired in these shoes I'm telling you they're just a dream for those 12-hour shifts I really like them and I also like that they are visually um, minimal like they don't take up a lot of room they're just like throw them on go to work 
do your job, go home. <laughs> they're just really easy. So even though, yeah, they're kind of ugly, I know, but what can I say? They're extremely comfortable. Okay, the next pair are a pair that I sort of bought on a whim. I've been wanting these shoes for a long time, even though they're very different to what you would expect would be in my collection based on my current style. They are the Balenciaga Triple S sneakers. They're also like polar opposite of my typical shoe style. They're very maximum, very maximal. They're not a minimal type of shoe. They're also extremely heavy. I think these are probably the heaviest sneakers in the world. And they're kind of a statement sneaker. Now I know that opinions on this shoe really differ. A lot of people think they are god awful ugly. A lot of people call them a dad shoe or an ugly dad shoe. They're kind of futuristic looking. And I used to hate them. I used to think they were so ugly. I never wanted a pair. But for some reason, you guys, I just one day really, really wanted a pair. And you know, I don't really regret getting them. I haven't worn them since I got them. Um, surprisingly they're quite comfortable aside from being a little bit heavy they are quite comfortable they're not the type of sneaker I would want to have to walk super long distances in or I wouldn't wear these to the gym or anything like that but they're kind of a cute statement sneaker I think that's really the best way to put it they are a bit of a statement sneaker and because they're so big they do make your ankles and your legs look really small which I think is really flattering and I also really love the colors of these sneakers. I love the beige, the cream, the white, um, the ivory. I really love the combination. I love the branding. I think that they're really cute. So let me know your thoughts down below, you guys. What do you think of the Balenciaga Triple S? Okay, now this pair of sneakers is much more practical and much more minimal. This is a lot more my typical style, and these are a 10 out of 10 must have recommend. Definitely suggest getting these if you're looking for a great sneaker. Every time I share a photo on my Instagram stories or anything and I'm wearing these shoe, people always comment or write me and say, hey, where did you get your sneakers? I love your sneakers. Honestly, you guys, they're so affordable, but also such good value for money. So these are the Keds Ace sneaker. They are a leather basic lace-up tennis shoe. They're so comfortable and these are just the perfect minimal chic white sneaker. I think that every woman needs an elegant white sneaker and yes I do think that sneakers can be elegant if they're the right type. So I really like that these don't have a whole bunch of logos written all over and they just mold so nicely to your feet. They're super super comfortable. I actually like these shoes so much that I got two pairs. One pair for if I just want to run errands or maybe doing something with my daughter and I'm not too scared to get them dirty or whatever and then the other pair for when I actually want them to be like a nice part of my outfit and look a little bit cleaner and maybe a little bit more dressed up because I think you can dress up a great pair of sneakers or maybe when I go on vacation I will bring my quote-unquote good pair and leave my like casual everyday pair at home. You could run marathons in these. You can wear them all day. They're a great travel shoe. They're a great classy elegant shoe to throw on when you just need something comfortable. So I cannot recommend these enough. Um, I will leave all the sizing information down below in the description box. So now we have a pair of Ugg style boots and again I do live in Canada. We have a lot of snow up here sometimes. I think a lot of people are under the impression that we're always cold and snowy, which we're not. We actually have a few months of the year that can be super, super hot. Um, but yeah, we do get a lot of snow here in the winters and I need a sensible boot that I can walk out to my car when there's literally like almost a foot of snow on the ground and brush off my car and do all that kind of stuff. Um, so these are a great boot. They're very comfortable. They are made of suede. They have some sort of a fur lining. I'm not sure the brand of these boots you guys, um, but they're basically like the Ugg style boot. They have a cute little button to do up on the side. They're very lightweight. And I did spray them with a shoe protector so that the suede does not get ruined in the snow. And yeah, they're just like a necessity. Again, this is not the type of boot or shoe that I would want to wear all the time, but living in Canada, I need sensible footwear, and this is just a go-to in the winter.
Next, we have another pair of sort of sensible, practical, necessary, functional shoes. These are Hush Puppies. They are sort of a Chelsea boot style. They are as far away from the whole Western look as I could get. I really don't like the look of like the pointy Western style with the Western heel. I don't like like the cowboy boot type of thing. That is like 100% not my style. Um, so these are, I believe, Nubuck leather is what they're called. I also sprayed these with a leather protectant spray to protect them from the elements. And again, these are just great for like cold fall days or early spring days when we're just in the middle between the snow is gone but not, not warm enough yet to wear normal everyday like ballet flats and stuff. So we do have like a period of time here in Canada that can last for a few weeks where it's like slushy and disgusting outside basically. You guys, I was not made for this climate. Like I am not a winter girl in the slightest, but these are a necessary utilitarian type of shoe that I need for that time of year. And they're just very practical. They're warm, they're comfortable, they're easy to put on and off. They also are fairly minimal looking. To be honest, I don't love the style of them. I still probably will explore other options um, in the future. These were fairly expensive though and they're very well made. And yeah, they're just like an easy option when it's still pretty chilly and kind of slushy and gross outside. And I just want something a little bit less bulky than those big like Ugg style boots. So now we have a boot that is much more my style, but unfortunately super not practical for Canadian winter. <laughs> so these ones I only wear when the conditions are appropriate, but I just love them for fall and winter. I think they're so cute. These are a sock boot and they have a bit of an almond toe and a thicker heel, not quite a block heel, but a little bit of a thicker tall heel. They are a four and a half inch and they hit about the lower part of your calf. And these are super flattering, love the color. I love a nude boot that matches my skin tone because it really elongates the leg. And these boots make me feel sexy while also keeping me warm, which is great. So if I wanna look a little bit more sexy, a little bit more put together in the fall, in the winter, and I'm just feeling like a bit more of a diva that day and less like a snowman, then I reach for these boots and they're great and they were fairly affordable as well. So I don't think these would still be in stock, but I really recommend them. If you guys have been contemplating getting a pair of sock boots, 100% recommend, they make you feel super sexy. This is another pair of boots that again isn't super functional or practical for Canadian winter. They look like they might be, but not when you've got lots of snow or slush on the ground. All you do then is get them super dirty and regret your decision every time. So these are a over the knee black suede boot. These are from Guess actually. I got them from DSW a couple of winters ago thinking that they would be a lot more practical than they are. Turns out they get dirty really easily, so I don't wear them that much unfortunately, but they are fairly sexy I think. I really like that they give the illusion of wearing like a dress and an over the knee boot um, but at the same time they're still very warm so if the conditions are right and there's not too much slush or snow or whatever on the ground I will reach for these in the winter and they do make me feel a little bit more put together but to be honest they're not the most practical boot. I'm just I'm a high heel girl you guys. I need the sun to be out. I need high heels. I need dresses. That's just me. That's what I thrive in. <laughs> but yeah, these are a nice boot. Um, I just don't wear them that much. So now getting into the more fun, glamorous, occasion, night out, cocktail type of shoes. So these are a Rockstead pair of high heels from Steve Madden. I would like to get this pair of shoes in the Valentino version, but right now it's not at the top of my priority list, but these ones certainly do fit the bill. So they're in this nudie pink color and they are about a four and a half inch heel. Not the most comfortable pair of shoes, not the least comfortable. They're sort of somewhere in the middle in terms of like night out shoes. They also do fit a little bit on the smaller side. So if you are going to get these exact shoes, I would recommend 
definitely try them on and you might even have to go a half size up. I managed to squish my feet into them and they're not too bad. They do stretch out a little bit. So they have the beautiful gold Rocksta detail and the really skinny heel and I really like them. Very sexy and great for nights out and dates. Okay, so now what is definitely the most uncomfortable pair of shoes in my whole collection, but also my favorite pair of shoes and makes me feel like a million bucks. Why does my favorite pair of shoes also have to be the least comfortable? I don't know. These are the Christian Louboutin. I believe these are called the Pigal Folies. I'm not sure if I'm saying that properly. These are not the So Kate. So they're not the tallest pair of Louboutins. They're the one, one height shorter than the tallest pair of Louboutins. They do have that super tall, super sexy, skinny heel. They have the beautiful, iconic red bottoms. These are in the nude color. Like I said, I want these in black. I just feel like I need them in black as well, <laughs> just to complete my shoe wardrobe. I love that they have the cutout on the inside of the shoe there, which makes it very sexy. They have a really long pointy toe bed and also the leather on the front of the shoe is very shallow, so they do show a little bit of toe cleavage. I do have a shoe protector on the bottom because I want to preserve that beautiful red color and also just to give them a little bit more grip, otherwise they are a little bit slippery. Highly recommend getting the sole protectors for your designer shoes. I have other designer shoes I need to get sole protectors for. They are a lifesaver. They will preserve your shoe and they will also make them a lot less slippery. So for being such an uncomfortable pair of shoes, they sure are stunning and they really do elongate your legs and make you feel like you are super, super tall. They are so sexy. I just love them, you guys, and I always feel like a million bucks when I wear them, even though they kill my feet every time. I just don't care. I've worn them so much. I have worn these for so many dinners out and nights out with my boyfriend on vacation. I just love them so much. They were actually a gift from him a few years ago and... They're my favorite pair of shoes. They're 100% worth it. If you've ever been contemplating it, you guys, just do yourself a favor, save up or splurge or whatever and just get them because you will love them. And I definitely recommend this height versus the So Kate, which I feel like are Mission Impossible shoes. These ones are a little more tolerable and they're so beautiful. <laughs> So we're nearing the end. This is my second last pair of super high-end designer heels and these are my Valentino rock studs and I love them. These were also a gift from my boyfriend last time we were on vacation. I have been wanting these shoes forever. I haven't had a chance to wear them out yet so I can't tell you how they are for like a whole evening out but just trying them on so far they've been pretty comfortable and I got this beautiful nude color. They are a bit more of a cool nude tone versus the warmer tone of the Louboutins. The heel on them isn't quite as high and it's not quite as skinny and because it's got all the straps I find it to be quite supportive and quite comfortable and I just think that the Valentina rock studs are so iconic I like I said I wanted these shoes forever I actually had a pair a picture of these shoes on my vision board for a couple of years and lo and behold here they are in front of me <laughs> so I just I just love them yeah there's nothing else to say besides they're beautiful And last but certainly not least are my Dior sling bags. So you guys, again, these were on my wish list for such a long time and I still want them in the ivory color as well. I couldn't decide whether to go with black or ivory, but I decided black because I didn't have another pair of like super dressy black heels. So these are kind of my 
dressier black heel, I guess. So I really like the shape of the heel on the shoe. You can see that it kind of goes inward instead of being straight up and down. I think that looks beautiful. I like that it's a slightly thicker heel as well. I think this is a very timeless and elegant shoe. And I just love the details. I love that it says Jadiwear on the side. I love that it has the little bow. Um, it's just, it's a super iconic and super comfortable shoe. And I just love it. They make me feel like a million bucks when I wear them. Have not had a chance to wear them out yet. These are fairly new to my collection and I just can't say enough good things. I'm so happy to have them. Um, yeah, that's really all I can say about it. <laughs> So like I said, this shoe does come in multiple colors, multiple heel heights, and also different fabrics. These ones are the patent leather, but they do also come in a textile fabric, which is a little bit more casual. But these shoes are great because I think if you get the lower heel, you can really dress them down or dress them up. Um, I love the little star in the back, and the sole definitely does feel quite delicate. I would not wear these out of the house without putting a protector on the bottom of that shoe. I have ordered protectors, and yeah, it's just stunning. <laughs> So you guys, these shoes are just so elegant and so classy. I think you can agree that these are definitely the more elegant, ladylike, classy choice when compared to something like the Louboutins. Louboutins are straight up sexy, boss woman, like diva. Yeah, they're just totally that direction. These ones are much more ladylike and elegant, I think. And I think they're just timeless and will never go out of style. I just love them. And that little bow on the side just adds this little cuteness factor. You guys, I lusted after these shoes for so long. And I just, it brings such a smile to my face to see them and to wear them because I love them so much. So I do really recommend people say to size down in these shoes because they say that the sling back stretches out. I got my normal size that I would get according to the size chart and I'm perfectly happy with that. I would not have sized down if that helps. So that was it for my shoe collection you guys. I hope that you really enjoyed. It was a lot of fun for me to film because I love shoes and I don't often get opportunities to wear some of my more high-end luxurious shoes. This was really fun for me. It was kind of like a little fashion morning in my bedroom. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye for now.